time was when the clanging, clicking sound of the streetcar was as familiar as the roar of the auto engine is today. From 1888, the year of the first electric streetcar, until April 29, 1951, when the last one made its final run, hundreds of trolley cars crisscrossed Cincinnati and its suburbs every day. When I was in uh, grade school, high school, we went everywhere by streetcar. We didn't even have a car. Connected into the system were five inclines, those Rube Goldberg-esque contraptions that carried the cars up Cincinnati's hills and helped the growth of the outer city. But by the early 1900s, planners had even more ambitious projects in mind. In 1911, Cincinnati Mayor Henry Hunt committed unheard of sums of money for the construction of a subway line from downtown to Norwood, then over to the east side. But two events conspired to change everything. World War I killing the subway the automobile killing the streetcar. One by one, the lines were shut down, and though some people rallied to save a few cars and possibly an incline, nothing survived. They wanted to really have somebody take it over and rebuild it and keep it as a, as a uh, memento of the past, like Pittsburgh, but uh, nobody did. Besides the abandoned subway tracks, the only remnants now of Cincinnati's old streetcar system are a few stone pillars that still mark the spots where the inclines used to be. The streetcar tracks are all covered up, the streetcars themselves long gone. But today, 30 years later, there's talk brewing of a high-speed commuter rail line sometime in the city's future. This city is going to need mass transit in the coming 10, 20, and 30 years when automobile transportation will no longer be adequate. And already in the planning stage, an aerial tramway up Mount Adams. That and the rail line, old ideas that have suddenly become new again. John Metteris, Channel 9 News.